Hey everybody, welcome back to the next episode of Autobox Plays Dark Souls. Uh, let's just get right into it. <laughs> you knew it was coming. In this episode, we're going to be taking on a Winged Dragon. Alright, so... We're leaving off exactly where we started. Let's traverse the White Fog. Oh, the gaping dragon. Oops. Anyway, this boss fight is going to be a little interesting. We just got to make sure that we can get around him. Because I do know that if you cut off the tail, you get something out of it. So when he charges, let's actually switch our items up a little bit. Put that there. And put that there. Let's heal up a little bit. And... So, what we want to do is actually, I'm going to apply the Gold Pine Resin. And we are going to smack the shit out of his tail. If we can hit. Apparently not. We are going to run around and hopefully not get hit by him. Well, that's a little funny. I can't believe we actually just missed that hard. But let's go around and take a little running jab at him. Bam! Look at that sexy damage. I'm disappointed that we missed, but the running swipes are doing wonders. And because we cut off his tail, we get the we get the great axe, which is very, very help, very nice. Um, there are a couple bosses who actually have similar mechanics in the sense that you get shit when you cut their tail off. Um, bad bit of damage, but I don't feel too bad about that. The Gold Pine Bundle wore off. So, let's actually apply the Charcoal Pine Resin. I'm, I'm curious as to whether or not it actually does any extra damage against him. Alright. Let's just wait for him to take a little charge off, and then we're going to go in for a running jab. Okay, good bit of damage. I want to chug a little bit. And let's wait for him to do the little, run little running thing. We'll be able to run around him. Um, so I don't feel too bad about this fight, and it's going pretty well. Going in for the jab. Oh god, run, 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 run. There we go. Good stuff, good stuff. Okay, good bit of damage right there. I mean, we're not going to be winning any speed runs for this particular fight, but we're not doing that bad of a job. At least, in my opinion. The charcoal pine, the charcoal pine resin wore off. So, that's fine. I don't really think it was adding too much damage for us anyway. Yeah. Okay. Good bit of damage. Good bit of damage. So, we just want to keep rinsing and repeating with this particular fight. Just running around, going for the jabs. And one more. Sweet. And when he actually does those running attacks, it's very nice, because it just allows us to go in for even more jabs. BAM! We are almost done with this fight. He's gonna do a little jump, and then smash down. Let us quickly run around so we make sure he doesn't charge into us. Um, out of context, this is probably one of the most intimidating fights, but in actuality, it's pretty easy. I mean, 
All things considered, I'm doing well against it, right? <laughs> Considering how badly I've been playing. And we did it! There we go. The Gaping Dragon has been defeated, and we get the key to Blight Town. We get some Twin Humanities and a Homeward Bone. Let's pick this up. And we actually get 25,000 souls. That's very, very good. Um, is this a door we can get through? No, apparently not. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is... Let's go back to our equipments. I'm going to equip these two because we don't really need them right now. And I do want to use a Homeward Bone because... Um, because of the last time we tried making a journey back out, we got completely boned. <laughs> so I'm just going to rest at this bonfire and use our souls to level up because that's probably the, our best bets. So we are able to go up about five levels. That's pretty good. I think we want to bring our dexterity to at least um, 20. That there and that there. The extra bit of vitality, very, very helpful, and let's see, do we want, hold up, hold up, yes, we want to cancel this, I want to see what the scaling is for our halberd, um, toggle display, it has a C in dex, which is actually kind of interesting, I never would have expected that, um, okay, cool, well, then I, considering that, I don't feel too bad about leveling dex that last points. So we want to bring this to 18, that to 16, and the last three levels into dexterity. And I'm pretty satisfied with that. That looks good to me. So let's confirm that. And... Wow. No, sorry about that. Got a little message on my phone. Okay. So... We have a bit of we have a couple options as to what we can actually do, but the thing that seems to make the most sense is unfortunately going to Blight Town, and I am not necessarily looking forward to doing that. <sighs> okay, so let's make our way back there. Okay, and oh, but. We didn't unlock the shortcut. It's okay. Getting the shortcut isn't that hard. Just gotta be a little careful as to where we actually go. Um, I don't want to go into Basilisk territory. So let's see. If we're able to go back up and actually go to where we can drop down into the big rat pit, that should allow us to slide down and um, get to the area that we want to be. So, um, the way we do that is we avoid these fuckers. Oh, come on, come on. Take a little sippy sip. We go back up and we drop down from the top area, and that should be the easiest way of getting into the big rat pit. So we go through here. We do have to fight our way through the dogs, which is kind of annoying, but it is totally possible for us to do. Come on, you little bitch. Do it, you won't. Bam. Easy peasy. Oh, come on. There. Well, that's disappointing. Okay. Now, there's one last dog. And... Okay, at least we both missed. So, big swipe, bam, and we want to drop down here. This leads us into the giant rat pit, and from there, there's a little slide thing we can go down. And I think that's what we want to do. Let's take a little roll, and let's slide down. 
Ah, shit. No, I'm an idiot. Okay, well, that was scary. <laughs> Not a doubt in my mind. You bitch! Alright, so before we actually get any more poisoned, let's use that. And get rid of this poison. Heal up, and now we can actually go up and use the shortcut. Going up. And this is the shortcut that we should have unlocked in the first place. Because this actually opens up right here at the big at the front of the big rat pit. So what we can do is just run up here, break these barrels, and then just rest at this bonfire, and we have easy access to going towards Blight Town. So we're gonna rest here. And one second. Okay, you know. So, 11 minutes in, I think we should just at least make some sort of progress towards getting into Blight Town. Ugh, this is not gonna be fun. This, it's, Blight Town is one of those, like, places in Dark Souls that everyone just dreads going to. Just because it just is so, it's so dark, it's... And the potential of getting boned is always there. It's always around the corner. But in order to make any progress in the game, that's somewhere you have to go. Use the key to Blight Town. And instantly the mood changes. It's like, everything's... It's not so bad. And then it's just like, yes. Yes, it is. Okay, so, as you can probably tell from the name, Blight Town is home to a new type of poison. It's called Toxic. And Toxic is really bad. Because you can't cure it like normal poison. It just... It does a shit ton of damage, just a shitload, and it's wor it's worse than poison. And most of the things that you can normally get in the game don't actually allow you to. Don't actually allow you to. Okay, cool. Yeah, you need the um. The special white moss bundle thingy to actually heal toxic, which sucks. Okay, cool. The halberd is actually doing very doing very well for us. There's these little fuckers who shoot target dots at us. Okay, we can at least two shot them. But these little fuckers actually shoot darts at you. And those darts uh, bring on the toxic. Oh shit. There. And let us kill this dude. Because fuck you. And we got through. Nice. Let's take a little chuck. And I do want to go down there. Swipe. Great. And let's just go down the ladder. Cool. There is another way of getting into Blight Town that's actually. You have to go through the Valley of the Drakes, and 
them, but you need the only way to get through the Valley of the Drakes, but through New Londo Ruins, is by using the um the master key that you get as a starting gift for the beginning of the game. You the for apparently, from at least from what I hear, the developers didn't really intend for you to start with the what's it shit, the master key. So because they wanted you to go, this to be like the main path that you used to get into Blight Town, which I think is just silly, but whatever. As you can tell, it's a long way down, but we're going down there. Ugh. Uh, all right, let's do this. Great. As long as we don't f colossally fuck up somehow, we should be able to get through this. I f at least I hope so. Hmm. Probably want to make the jump to go over there. Okay. We got the, um, Aito, and if we roll off, I just want to make sure I don't fucking roll off. The map, and we get to a bonfire. We're gonna rest here, and sheesh. Oh, bonfire, it's lit. Okay. Woo! Scary, scary, scary. Is there anything here we can get? Oh, fuck. Okay. Well, that was, um... A little hard to see. Oh shit! Jump scares, right? Oh. Uh, okay, cool. We get these um, moss clumps, and we don't want to get. Any, we don't want to go any further. Fuck that. Fuck that with a rake. Okay, cool. So we managed to go up, and this is another place where we can go. We always want to be careful as to where we're actually going, because it's very dark and. This shit is rickety as all hell. Okay, no, we're not going that way. Fuck that. Fuck that. So, let's go back up here, rest the bonfire yet again, and we can make our way back towards that way. Considering they actually have 7,000 souls and the chance for us to die is relatively high, I think we want to at least level up once and then move on. Because it would suck to lose all these souls and go back to Zero Progress again, right? So, I'm probably just gonna crank it up into Vitality. We're I mean, having more health is probably not bad. At least, I think it's good, because we are bad. So, let us run this way, keep our shield up. There are dogs, and these little fuckers actually blow fire. I remember the first time I came down here, I just could not hit them to save my life. It was the weirdest thing. And if you notice, there are little mini darts flying at us. These little darts are... What can it, what's gonna give us toxic? So, want to do our best to not get hit by those. And we want to make our way across, so that way. We can kill that dude. I'm trying to figure out where we actually can go. Down. Here's a way. And... Jesus. Okay. There's another way down. And there's this dude. Let's kill him. Oh. Kill him. I think I almost walked off. And him too. 
Oh, it's so nice to actually two-shot these fuckers. It's all of a proud knight. Rip on proud knights. Oh. Huh. Is there a way to get up to that top slot? There probably is. I'm just not seeing it. Okay. Sticks us down here. Fuck you. Shit. Holy hell, how did we miss each other? So, let's run down here, pick this up. Eagle shield. Nice. Probably too heavy for us. And... God, that's disgusting. Gotta hand it to the developers, because a lot of the shit in this game is so grotesque. I don't even think I can land on that. So I doubt I could. Alright, we're going back up. This is probably the fastest I've ever actually gone down Blight Town. Okay, there's a ladder down there, and I think we are going to go down that way. So let's go down the ladder. If I'm missing items, I... I don't really care at this point. My completionist mindset is telling me just get down to Blight Town and... Like, be, be content with that. Okay. Fuck you. Cool. I'm gonna chug some sippy sip. And we're gonna make our way down some mo. There is a homie down there, I know that for sure. And he's gonna try to take a swipe at the king. My little bitch. Oh, never mind. Oopsie. Okay, let's traverse the white fog. Make sure we don't fall. And ready ourselves. Defend. Have at thee. Okay, where the fuck? Okay, there we go. That's where we want to go. Down here. Down here. Oh, lovely. Let's chug a little bit. That's pretty disgusting. They're like gross centaurs. Um, I think we should be good enough to actually go down this little path, and I think it leads us to an item. Or leads us pretty much nowhere. I mean, we could walk across this, I guess, but why? Yeah, like literally, why? There's no reason to. Okay, guess we're going back down the other way. down here. Still defend. Let's walk back up. Yo. Yo, what the fuck? Where are we getting hit from? Okay, well that's bad. Oh, you dick. You! Alright. Oh, baby, we did- we got one. Equip it, equip it. Take it. Okay. Yeah, that's one of the reasons why people don't like Blighttown. 
because these guys are kind of assholes to hit too. Okay, cool. Wanderer's Hood and the Fal Falchion? Flachian? Oh gosh, I butchered that name. In any case, let us make our way out. The fact that we actually got some blooming moss clumps, that's so nice. Because Tox Toxic could have just easily, like, just killed us straight up. Like, to Toxic is no joke. Let's just chug this. We are so close to running out of sippy. Okay, you know, we're just not gonna mess with these guys. And we are gonna. Okay, I guess we're gonna glitch out and roll around this shit. Okay. And we're at the bottom. We're at the bottom, fam. We did it. Okay. We did it! We're at the bottom! Yay! Not really. Fuck. Alright, so I do know where the bonfire is. We're gonna run straight there. Get off me, fucker. And here it is. Run! Rest! Okay. Light the bonfire, and I think this is gonna we're gonna level up. No, we can't. I think this is gonna do it for this episode. So thank you so much for watching. We've made a lot of good progress in this episode, and I'm pretty proud of myself, all things considered. Anyway, um, please hit the like button if you like the video, and of course subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye.